Hey guys, ever get stuck trying to model a sloped ceiling or a vaulted ceiling in SketchUp? You're not alone. It's one of the most common questions I get from designers, but the truth is it's just geometry and it's very easy to do. In this video, I'll walk you through a simple method using only the line tool, rectangle tool, and the move tool in SketchUp to create any kind of sloped or vaulted ceiling. Let's dive in. All right, guys, what I have here is a SketchUp file. It's got three different groups here. Uh, this is the same structure, just a basic room. It's, uh, I believe, a 20 by 30 with a 10 foot uh, high ceiling. So right now we've got a flat ceiling right over here. Our next group will put a sloped ceiling on and the last group will do a vaulted ceiling. So let's start with the flat ceiling. Uh, most of us can pretty much manage how to do a flat ceiling in SketchUp. It's not difficult. Uh, either you can use the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle to make your ceiling. Or what I like to do is my floor. I'll just use the move uh, tool with the copy function enabled and bring that up and then uh, rename that to ceiling. And just make sure to reverse the faces. So the blue side is facing up and the gray side is facing inside your space. So if I were to put a section cut on this guy right here, we'll just see what it looks like inside. All right, and there we go. A nice flat ceiling, nice and basic. All right, but let's do a sloped ceiling here. So in this next example, let me minimize this guy. We've got a, I'll turn that off for now. We've got a nice uh, rectangle room here. We're gonna do, let's bring this wall up, let's say. So if we just go to the wall group here, we're going to just go in one step further. We're gonna draw a line right here. And then the same thing on this side over here, we'll draw a line, okay? And then let's bring this wall up. Let's say the slope is, let's say five feet. It's five, apostrophe, enter. There we go. So now we want to bring this wall up. So this corner goes all the way up to this corner here. And to do that, we're just going to use our line tool. So I'll draw a line from this point over right here. That's going to create a face for me. And then I'll just use the push pull tool, bring that out like so. Notice this face right here, this is blue now. This happens sometimes in SketchUp, just do a reverse faces. You wanna always make sure your gray faces are facing towards your eye or the camera. And we'll just remove this line, clean that up a little bit. And then you can do the same thing on this side. So draw a nice little rectangle, make sure to hit the right line there, not this one here, but this one right here. Okay, and notice that didn't create the face because I'm not inside the right group. So let me just control Z that. Let me go inside my wall group and now do the same thing. And there you can see it created this face here, also created this face on top, that's our ceiling. So I'm just gonna raise that for now because we'll get back to that. I want to push pull this, I'll hover my mouse over this wall here to get that same distance. And you can use the eraser tool and just kind of clean that up. And do it over here as well. Don't need to, oops, control Z that. I just like to keep things clean. All right. Again, notice this uh, wall here changed to blue, so just right click reverse face on that. Okay, so now we've got our sloped ceilings here. And I'm gonna click out of here. I wanna get outside of that wall group. And now there's a couple different ways to create the ceiling. I can use the rectangle tool, which is very easy. So I'm gonna click down here and just hover my mouse over that top corner there. And there it is. So now make sure to always group your ceiling. So I'm gonna group that, rename that ceiling. And then I'm just gonna bring this. Notice I'm using the outliner tool here. This is how I keep things organized in SketchUp, which is very important. Uh, so the ceiling group is on the main level. I'm gonna drag that into my sloped ceiling group. So now I can toggle that on and off like so. And notice the gray side is facing up on this ceiling, which I don't want. So I'm gonna right click here and do reverse faces. And that way when I have the section cut active, 
I can go in here and see that all my faces inside the space are gray, which is what I want. And it's looking good. So those corners are tight. Always make sure your corners are tight. And we will toggle that guy off. All right, so that's a sloped ceiling, very easy to do. Let's move on to a vaulted ceiling, a little more challenging. But again, this is just geometry. It's not hard to do. A lot of people get tripped up by this, but let's tackle this. All right, so let's say you want a, uh, a vaulted ceiling. This is a 10 foot wall. So let's say you have a 45 degree angle. Well, I can either just, so I can go into this wall group here it's my line tool, find the center point. You see it, uh, it's a little blue icon there. It says midpoint, uh, click on that. Don't click on the outside one, just click on this one on the inside. And if I know it's a 10 foot wall, I'm gonna raise this up, locking it in the blue axis, five feet. And just continue with your line tool. Make sure to uh, click on this corner and not over here or over here. Click right there. And now I've got a 45 degree angle right here going up. But let's say you uh, have a special angle. And let's say you know that these are, uh, let's say a 60 degree angle. Well, let me show you what that would be like. So what we can do is we can just take, highlight this line right here. Okay, and then I can, let's say, make a copy. So move tool, copy, enabled, just copy it up. And then use your rotate tool here. So I've got this guy enabled. I'm gonna hover over this point here, but I want this on the left axis here. So uh, the left uh, arrow on the, your keyboard, click that to lock it. Click once where you want it to pivot. Click twice and now I can go over here and select the angle I want. Notice in the bottom right, it has my angle. Now let's say you want 60 degrees, I can type in six zero, enter. And that gives you a really steep ceiling, probably not realistic. So I can undo that. And let's just highlight that again. And Q on the keyboard, lock it in the green axis, click once, click twice. Let's say you want something that's 35. 35, enter. There we go. I'm gonna move this guy back down here, locking it in the blue axis so I know it's right on that corner. All right, and then what I can do is use the line tool, find the midpoint of this wall, lock it in the blue axis, and then just come up and find where the intersection is right there. E on the keyboard for the erase tool, can erase that segment. All right, and then I can do the same thing over here, but an easier way to do it would be just be use your line tool because we already know the angle and just click there. E on the keyboard to get this nice triangle like you see. So I do want to add some thickness to this triangle. So what I'll do is use the push pull tool and I'll bring it out, I can hover over either this wall right here or a corner right here and just click. And then I can use the eraser tool to clean that up. But what I think I'll do is just copy this. And I'll copy this line down here and I'll just bring it over like that. And then notice it didn't, doesn't have a face, but I know these are all connected. Oops, let me get in the right group here. So if I just select one, I can just use the line tool and create any line anywhere on the edge and it will create one for me, like so. All right, so now push pull this out over here. And then I can just use the eraser tool. I can erase some of these lines here to make it nice and clean. There we go. All right, so now we have the vault on the walls. Now we need to add the ceiling in. So 
I'm outside of my walls group. I'm still inside my vaulted ceiling uh, group, which is this guy right here. So I'm gonna use the rectangle. R on the keyboard, I'm gonna click once here and then once at the corner up here. All right, so that drew that in nicely. I do wanna reverse this face. So the blue side is facing up. And then what I'll do is I'm going to actually use the flip tool. So over here, flip tool, select that and press control on the keyboard if you have a PC. That's gonna enable the uh, copy feature and then move this right uh, square. There's click and hold and then move it right on the edge of your object. And that will create a copy on the other side. And there we go. So now I'm gonna uh, select this guy. I'm going to select the other one, G on the keyboard to group. I'm gonna rename this ceiling. Okay, and now since you know this is all organized nicely, which I always encourage, we can toggle this off and on. And if I turn on the section cut, you'll see inside, it all looks very nice. And there it is. So a lot of people get tripped up by adding uh, a slope ceiling or a vaulted ceiling, but it's all just geometry. And using basic SketchUp tools, uh, you can create your vaulted or slope ceiling very easily within SketchUp. All right. All right, if you found this video helpful, make sure to download the free step-by-step -step principle guide on how to create sloped and vaulted ceilings, along with the SketchUp model I used in this demo. The link is in the description below. And if you want to truly master SketchUp, I've got a full seven-day SketchUp bootcamp designed specifically for interior designers. Inside, I show you how to model a primary bedroom from scratch and show you how to use V-Ray to render it into a series of high-quality photorealistic images. Check it out using the link below. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.